The history of this property actually predates Canada as a country. The British occupied lands wouldn't be named Canada until 1841, nine years after the property was bought by Scottish immigrant George Hood. The land would remain within the Hood family for over a century. The classic Fieldstone farmhouse built in 1863 also predates Canadian Confederation, which occurred in 1867. George Hood, his wife Elizabeth, and their five children immigrated from Peebles, Scotland in 1832 with hopes of leading a prosperous milling business in the settlement of wealth. Upon their arrival, George wasn't impressed with the milling operation potential and decided to purchase 100 acres of forest on the outskirts of town instead. The Hood family began work clear-cutting the land and converting it into a working farm, which they named Eldersley. They built a log cabin out of trees from the property and expanded as needed. The family was very notable in the community. Son Thomas Hood was even elected to the first Guelph Council in 1851. When George passed away in 1857 at 75 years old, his son Thomas and Thomas's wife Anne took over the property and purchased an additional 200 acres. Thomas Hood was a huge part of several monumental changes in the community at the time, including upgrading roads, promoting the Guelph Railway, which would eventually become part of the Grand Trunk Railway system, and he even helped start the first United Presbyterian Church in the area. In 1863, the classic Ontario Fieldstone Farmhouse was built, using stones from the land and nearby quarry. Over the next hundred years, the house would remain almost exactly as it was when it was built, with only minor renovations taking place to add plumbing and electricity when they became available. Thomas Hood passed away at Eldersley in 1903 at the age of 91. He passed the farm on to his daughter Margaret Hood and her husband Thomas Armishaw. The couple raised nine children on the farm, converting it to a dairy farm. Other additions were made over the years, including grain silos, a huge cattle barn, and a more modern home. The Hood family descendants continued to own the land until it was expropriated by the MTO for the Highway 7 expansion between Kitchener and Guelph, a project that has been stalled for over three decades. A heritage impact study was requested by local heritage advocates, but was rejected by Guelph City Council with the reasoning that a study would take too long and thus further delay the highway expansion. The land continued to serve as an active dairy farm until 2015 when the property was vacated. As the MTO began clearing some of the 50 plus expropriated properties, the great 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 grandchildren of George Hood visited Eldersley in 2016 for a goodbye party knowing it would be the last time they'd see the land their distant relatives once made a living from. The provincial government claimed to put the farmhouse itself on the market, offering a portion of the relocation cost if a buyer could prove they had the means to make the move quickly, but no offers were accepted. It's unclear if any were made in the first place, as no record of the listing exists. In the winter of 2018, Eldersley was demolished and most, if not all, the building materials were damaged and thrown into a dumpster. A building that stood for 155 years took less than two days to tear down. The site has remained vacant ever since, and the highway expansion has since stalled, again, with the provincial government flip-flopping on funding.